again, I don't think Phoenix was a boring race. Um, had it been a 500 lapper, I may have a completely different opinion, but the amount of laps that they run and, and the on-track action that I saw, I, I give it, gave it for the third time a B-. minus. The story is going to be told this weekend at Bristol. The story is going to be told no, three weeks from it's, now. It's not. They don't run it at Bristol. No. They don't run the short track package at a short track. Well, then what the f*** are they running at Bristol? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. This makes about as much sense. It's right. interesting how few curse words we had last week. Uh, I'm well, sure when you do dumb f- you're gonna cuss. Yeah. You can't. Why don't you run the short pack package in a pa- short, short track? Short pack put you so pissed off. I can't even talk. Ray, you should try consumer cellular. Consumer cellular. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, one thing I did notice, maybe Freddie saw it too, is I felt like the cars were looser through off of four than normal. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely notice. You noticed it big, especially. I saw more practice, of that than I ever had. Like have. firing off practice, firing off. You could see guys. I mean, Bubba. He went by in practice. And I never. I, he was, you know, tight on that wall, like around the start finish line. Yeah. And in both both days, I noticed he he scuffed the left rear, and like majority of the cars, I felt like had that little yeah. scuff around the right rear wheel well. But it was, you know, you could definitely notice it more. But you know, at the same time, it. Phoenix, but is that is that trending in the right direction though? If the guys I think are, so. I think it was. I think after the race, it was funny because you look back and it's like Chris Rebell was now loose. Yeah, Chris <laughs> Rebell was just fine. Uh, but you know, you look back and it's I seen. I listened to Gluck last night. He talked about Truex saying, you know, the package was better. You could move around a little more. After, after, this is after the race, you could move around a little more. You could pass. That was after he just drove through the whole field. In the middle of the race, <laughs> led for whatever, in, in the middle laps. of the race, he was bitching, this thing's f-ing terrible and you can't pass. And other, like, yeah. So it's just circumstantial. Like, I, I probably, my, I'm sure my view is skewed because it didn't matter what we did yesterday. Wherever we cycled out, whether it was fourth, 11th, 15th, 17th, that's where we were going to run until we got another chance at a pit stop or a restart. So I, I think it was it, visually they looked a little more on edge. They looked like they could move around a little bit, but you still couldn't A pass. little more on edge is, is in the right direction, yeah, though, because sure. think guys but, aren't, in the, aren't in the throttle the whole but, time. Like, and, I, and, and this is not a fair place to judge it because we've talked about no. it on here before. So where are they running this thing again? Richmond? Richmond and then Martinsville. Martinsville, I think, will be the – the real test. Yeah, Martinsville is the place that I. The, Martinsville is a place that they have start. They have they have hurt the most. I yeah. think. You know, Phoenix is we've taken we've taken fourteen generations of cars and and seventy five different packages and and just don't have great races there. Um, so you you can't really expect to you know change the short track package. On, on top of that, we race there twice a year, and every year we go test there. That's because it's yeah. warm. So now you're every time we talked about Martinsville last week on here. Every time you test somewhere, you make that box smaller of, you know, the field's going to get tighter and tighter because you have that much more data for that place. You know, I, I think I don't think Phoenix is – I know it's it's rough looking at times, but, like, there's multiple different lines there, and guys can get side by side. But it's also how good these guys are and making it hard to pass, too. You've got – look at Formula 1 guys. They know exactly what to do at times, like taking the entry away to the corners and stuff. I mean – these guys, when you catch them, know how to make it super hard to pass. You can get beside a guy, but it's really hard to clear him. And well, I mean, we couldn't I, even get beside a guy. <laughs> well, I mean, but that like it's Phoenix. I think is unique because you go into turn one and you got a guy that runs all the way up against the wall, and you got a guy eight, ten car lengths below him running the bottom, and then they meet on the exit of the corner. I still think that's something that boy, that's fun to spot, isn't it? It's you know, pain in the ass <laughs> to spot, but uh, I, I mean, the broadcast said yesterday the spotters have a great view of this racetrack. I'm like. Oh, <laughs> They do. You've never been on this spotter stand. Oh, my gosh. They do have yeah. a great view. I mean, their the, angles the, are absolutely yeah, garbage. Yeah. I mean, it's cool for the middle of the corner where you can say three outside. And then, <laughs> but when you get to the exit and they're coming at you, you're trying to clear your guy up. It's not quite as, as ideal. But, yeah, I don't. I think people just need to accept Phoenix for what it is. And it still can be. I think we're going in the right direction with it. And, you know, the it's still in a, there's some exciting points Listen, to that race. It's Like I said It earlier. does not need to be the championship weekend no i mean for any reason it, it, like there's 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 o- the only way you can convince me that phoenix should even be part of the championship conversation is if it's a some kind of playoff a three race playoff like denny's brought up before you know you can you could run martinsville phoenix and homestead and those are your three races with four guys whatever you want to do i could i, I could even accept it being the last race of the season in a three race playoff but I, there's no way you can sell me on the fact that that's our best option if you're going to go back it, for a one race playoff if you're going to keep it to phoenix at the end uh, it probably would be beneficial to have it like a three game three race series or something at the end yeah i'm gonna ask y'all this pit stall number one should it be as big of an advantage as it is 
So, you know, I, I, you've been saying this for a couple of days now, and I saw some tweets about it also. You know, it's, it's, it's an advantage basically for the camera position. The camera position is at the end very, of – Very, very, very short th- distance from the pit box exit to where the, 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 the camera, the camera line is. The camera is basically at the end of the, the first The camera line box. needs to be at the speed line. Yes. That's an easy fix. That, you know, that's, that's all you got to do to really help it anyway because you see anywhere you look that the camera is – is at the end of that box. It's easy because what happens is you don't have to do anything if you're in that first stall. You just basically bump forward a little bit and you're yeah. and you're through the camera while everybody else is like you'll be. There's numerous times we had it last year. I forget where we sat on the pole, maybe Texas, and it was we would bump through the line and three guys would go by us and yeah. we we technically be fourth, but we were the first one off pit road because we tripped the camera first. You know, so same that, thing. It's at Dover, but too. going but going yeah. back championship weekend in all three series. We saw Kyle Larson win a championship because of a pit stop and where he was on pit road. We saw William Byron, who should have won it. Ryan Blaney blew his doors off and won the race or finished second and went to end up winning a championship. But should we go back to Phoenix, of all places, where if you sit on the pole, you have a major advantage? I don't have a problem with that, honestly, because I mean, you, you earned, earned it. it. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like a draw. It wasn't some kind of lottery. You know, you can def- – you can- And they've changed the qualifying order – Yes. at the end of the year too to make it even for all the cars too so you're not going out in a, a group that's way worse you know what i mean so These you, guys- so if so when brad keselowski makes the final four and bubba wallace makes the final four and denny hamlin sits on the pole and you qualify second and you qualify third and he kicks your ass all day you're gonna be okay with that you're gonna be able to eat it on sunday night after yeah the race. yeah you, so you, you are earned, you saying yeah. denny would have won the race yesterday had it not been finished yet? i'm just saying it's it's very obvious and it, 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 we should not have an advantage that big just for sitting. But that was it? I mean, where Denny? What did Denny do yesterday? That was such. I'm, a, I'm not talking specifically Denny and yesterday. Well, just, it's but over, Denny had the first. I mean, three out of the last seven races <laughs> going into yesterday, the pole sitter won. I think that I think that the numbers get skewed a little bit, especially if he. I think this is an advantage at a lot of places. You look. I think Charlotte. I, I was asking Jr. about this before I came in here. Charlotte is another one. I remember Texas. Obviously, might have been another one because it's like there, or wherever it was we run the pole. I can't remember. Um, but then the numbers get skewed a lot more in, Texas, in Phoenix's favor for what we're talking about. You can't pass. So if you do manage to come off the lead, then you can't, they can't get around you. Or if you come off, you know, if you're running third and bounce to the lead, or if you're running sixth and bounce to third, your, your position retention is a lot better, you know, or you get a good restart. So the numbers, I think, obviously Phoenix is a heavily favored pit stall number one, but I think there's a lot of different things play into it. I don't understand. Like, yeah, Denny earned that spot. He should kick yeah. your ass all day if he did it. You know what? Next time, if I want that spot, I need to go out there and get the more damn more focus on there, qualifying. There needs, you know, it's part of the. Hey, man, you're putting it on the line right here. Go run this lap, you know. And some guys are better at qualifying than others, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's a position. Even if if it's you and you earn it, that's your spot, man. I mean, I don't. I, I think it's earned. After Toyota's dominance at Phoenix, they would be considered the favorite going into November. Spot on, spot off, Freddie. Uh, yeah, I guess spot on. You know, they were obviously very fast. I think they led all the laps except for when Gilliland stayed out and ran long. The thing that concerned me was they were very fast. But when they lost track position, they struggled except for Bell. Bell's car, Bell was like the outlier yesterday. His car was exceptional. He could do whatever he wanted. Yeah, I don't think Bell is a good. <laughs> He's not a good reference. It's not very often you see cars like <laughs> no, that. Yeah. I think on the broadcast they mentioned every single car had a different setup. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're not. I mean, I don't know how close ours was to the 45 or anything. But, um, you know, like once we we were kind of buried in traffic. And the the thing is, like early in the runs, you saw like Tyler was running top three, I think, and it was able to drive to the front. That's not so bad. But when you get further back in traffic, it just gets worse. You know, you just get tighter and tighter and tighter. So then because you got your car set up to run up front, you know, you're if you're the 45 of them guys, they know they're up front. They can be a little freer because they got good track position. Well, then once you lose the track position, you're tighter. Now you're like, you're like, oh, shit. like now I'm, I wasn't banking on this. So now I'm really tight. I need to be able to, you know, you're running a little bit tighter up front because you're going to clean air. So now you get buried. Now you're in traffic and now you're tight. as shit. So that was the only thing that concerned me was when they did lose track position, it was seemed like it was harder. The 43 got buried. Never saw him again. 54. Did you fence that guy? No, nah, would have somebody fenced us into him. <laughs> nah, it was a mixture. Yeah, a mixture of what yeah. of the twenty three and fourteen. Oh, and uh, and the forty three. Forty three was just kind of an innocent bystander. Yeah, forty three was he didn't do anything. Yeah, it didn't yeah. seem like there we were, any love lost between Eric Jones. And we it got yeah. real tight between the fourteen and twenty three, and they kind of they kind of watched. We were, we went to we went 
He left. They left a hole open down the backstretch. We filled it off a of two. Well, let me four. now. Let's get this right. They left a hole. They're already three wide. Bubba makes it four wide. Four, yeah. Okay. So it was Bubba's I, fault. I'm just. I'm no. I mean, I, I don't blame him is, for driving is there in there. A, is there a rule against making it four wide? No. I mean, is it make, hard to pass a Phoenix? You make your own luck. Oh, uh, okay. I'm saying is it hard? I looked at the, the video. I saw. The four, we make it four wide. The four. The last guy to the party was the fourteen. Has got a half a car <laughs> with. Uh, I'm left. not saying he didn't come up and <laughs> who, the who made come contact? Up quick. Okay. Yeah. The fourteen came up. If there was a rule against making it four wide, let me know because I was four wide. I don't, know what the 14, I don't know what the fourteen knew, but he came up from. So you're saying apron. Joe didn't? He didn't. No, I don't know. Well, no, he don't even need a spotter. If you go back to the comments oh, yeah, yeah. from uh, yeah, Briscoe, don't need a spotter. He, he's got cameras. So yeah, he don't. Yeah. Yeah. He came up like there wasn't going to be anybody out there, and there was two cars there, and I, I'm. It looked like he was only expecting. I mean, honestly, it was kind of impressive that Bubba got into that spot. First of all, like they weren't going to be four wide, but Bubba got a great run off this, the corner. So it's still Bubba's fault. No, I, the fourteen came up like there was going to be one car there, and I think when he heard two outside, it was already too late. Yeah, it was. He had like the thing that he had. He had room to his left, and I. He, we had he, a lot of room to he made the comment, you know, after he can't really complain, you know, if he wants to complain that we made a four wide, his comment after the race was, well, first of all, he said, I don't know what Corey's mad about the guy behind me wrecked him. Well, no, we were outside of you. Um, so if you want to blame it on us, we were still not behind you. We were outside you. Uh, and then he said, like, listen, I don't care. The, the, the aggressive guys are the guys that run up front. So I'm going to be aggressive. Well, then if that's your feeling, you better be ready for everybody else to be aggressive, too. Yeah, it was it was uh, definitely an aggressive. It was, I mean, but you had to do it. That, I felt like, yeah. especially there, we're on two tires. We have to get as much track position because you know there's guys with four coming. Like it's an it's the last restart. You know, think you know it could be the last restart of the race. So I mean, so let me ask you this: say say Briscoe comes up a little bit further and just takes you you and the forty three out that you know in that corner. Do you still think that you have to make that move? Yes, I think you do at Phoenix. I think that I think that's a at, you know at some places no maybe you can just back off and and get back around them but I think at Phoenix if you don't if you're not taking every opportunity to get in front of somebody you're you're not doing it right there because you you have to be at your most aggressive especially on restarts to get as Wasn't much it, track the 43 as you was can. on was Pro- he on, probably stayed out yeah I, I think he was I don't think he, he, was on he the did same. I think he was on the one he might have been the one one of the ones that pitted with like Ross when they yeah. pitted like and then they flipped it we did two. I don't know what the 14 I mean, You're definitely did. not going to want to go in the corner behind a guy on older tires. No, no, so. we're not. You, know, you can't, you can't like, that's what I, I preach to Bubba all the time, especially at Phoenix. Like, and it really goes for anywhere. You have to have momentum moving forward. When you get to turn one, if you stop for somebody, if you run in the back of somebody, mm-hmm. you're getting split five wide at Phoenix. You're getting yeah. split five wide at Las Vegas. Yeah, Anywhere you go, you, didn't choose you have to figure yeah. out a way to have momentum going forward when you get to turn one. That's all there is to it in restarts, especially at a place like Phoenix. And listen, it was I'm not saying it wasn't an aggressive move. Obviously, it didn't pan out, but you have to take those chances at a place like Phoenix if you're going to run in the top 10. You had momentum when you hit the 43. Well, right to the right. We were going right, <laughs> right, not left. <laughs> uh, Brett's spot on spot off. Do you think Toyota is favored in November? Uh, it is very obvious who the fastest cars were all weekend. And, and given the way that the strategy played out, um, obviously Christopher Bell drove back up through the field. But, man, if you give – if you put four Toyotas up front, they're going to stay up front. I mean, but on the same note, if you put Kyle Larson in the lead there, I don't know how easy he's going to be to pass either. So the, the, there, there's a lot of time between now and getting back to the second Phoenix Championship weekend. Teams are going to get faster. You know, Ford showed a lot of speed yesterday with, with the, the RFK guys, and they're going to continue to get better. So it's way too early to, to tell, honestly, if there's an advantage. But it will be very interesting to see for you fantasy players out there. When you get to Richmond, I would load up on Toyota drivers.